Hello, this is Darren Craddock from Inner Health Botanicals with The Daily Dose. And today I'm going to ask a very big question in, in this Daily Dose today, which should be alarming to most of us here living in the United States of America, those of us who are Americans, um, or those of us who are even immigrants. You know, for the, frankly, the question is, why are we as a nation so unhealthy? And uh, this is just not me saying this. This is a study carried out by many organizations, including the NIH, and a report that's been put out in recent days describing that study tells us that on many levels, we are actually lagging behind most industrialized nations. There was a study done on 16 or more industrialized nations, and the U.S. came in almost last in every single category. That's really sad. Um, and frankly, I believe completely unacceptable given the amount of money that is spent per capita on healthcare in this country. So obviously we're doing something wrong. I'm not saying we're not doing anything right, but we are doing definitely something wrong to come in, you know, tying for last or just the last be second before last in so many of these different categories. Now, these particular uh, studies were carried out over several years, so this is not just a haphazard study, and it was carried out looking at um, several different factors, such as heart disease, diabetes, obesity, cancer, uh, and several other factors. What's really perhaps the most alarming is that the incidence of ill health amongst young people is so much higher. We come in very close to last in that particular category. So we really obviously need to do a lot more in order to improve the health in the US. Now, some of the reasons are quite obvious. We depend hugely on cars in this country and so many communities in this country, so we get a lot less exercise. If you take an average person, let's say for example in New York City, which is in this country, they tend to have a better uh, outcome for health than somebody who lives in a suburban area who will take a car and use the car to go everywhere. I mean, I meet so many people. They will go to a grocery store, let's say, for example, and there'll be a store maybe 200 yards away from that grocery store. And rather than walking and then carrying their bag, they actually drive their car 150 yards or 100 yards to be closer to that other store. Now, if you're going to buy something that's huge and you obviously need to be closer, understandable. But I'm talking about people who are just going to buy something that fit in their handbag, you know, or a little satchel. This has become almost absurd. Uh, I even know people, friends who, who do this, and I continually tell them, you know, you wonder why you're unhealthy. Well, you need to get exercise whenever you can. Make your daily life an opportunity for exercise. So if you look at Paris or London or any of the major cities in Europe, even smaller cities in Europe where there are buses, but the bus gets you maybe half a mile from your home, so you have to walk some every day, in the morning, in the afternoon, on the weekends, if you're shopping, whatever it may be, you get to exercise just in daily life. Here in the US, we don't. Plus, the addiction to TV tends to be even higher here. It's high everywhere, frankly, but it tends to be higher here. So another thing that I brought up was not actually, that I want to bring up, that's not actually covered in the study, is that here in the US, and this is, I believe, one of the reasons why we suffer high rates of cancer, high rates of heart disease and obesity, is the preponderance of huge rates of inflammation and, and ever-growing rates of inflammation. Uh, why is that? Well, I believe genetically modified organisms contribute greatly to increased inflammation among our populace here in the US. Here in uh, the United States, there's so much more genetically modified foods than any other country on earth. So we consume them, thus we get much more inflammation than most other countries on earth. And that contributes to all of these different diseases, especially heart disease, digestive disturbances, obesity, diabetes, etc., etc. So we need to keep all of those things in mind. Obviously, the solutions are in many ways simple. Consume a diet that's whole, Supplement with things to improve your nutritional levels. Um, avoid taking chemicals. Avoid chemicals in your food, your body care products, your home care products, uh, pesticides. Avoid all of those things that can cause problems with your hormonal levels, with toxicity in your body. 
get more exercise, drink more water, stay well hydrated, all of the points that I, I put out frequently on the daily dose. But I thought you'd like to know that um, we need to get our grades up, folks. <laughs> We're coming in last or second to last on so many areas uh, regarding health, much higher rates of teen pe pregnancy, drug abuse than most other industrialized nations. And this is something we can do a lot about. We don't need to sit by and just allow this to be perpetuated. So um, the challenge is out. Let's get healthy. Thank you all for watching. This is Darren Craddock from Enter Health Botanicals with The Daily Dose.